Torn fans, my name is Stacia and this is episode 8 of Torn Freak TV. Let's jump right in and see what's happened in the past two weeks. EMI Australia, a music record label, has launched their first ever blog made by a big record company. The blog is called The In Sound From Way Out and looks like a nicely done music blog. But the only reason why we are reporting this, we think EMI might be the first record label in the 21st century. Let's hope they discover BitTorrent sometime soon. BarTor is a little application that is very simple in its design, but very cool in its concept. It is an application that is available for Android-based phones. BarTor lets you take a picture of a barcode from a DVD with your phone. Then it searches online and finds a DVD you scanned and then connects your uTorrent or Vuz client on your computer and starts downloading the movie or whatever it is you scanned. Funny though, the pirating application is available online for $2.99 US dollars. France has been a big supporter of the Three Strikes anti-piracy legislation and is the only country in Europe where you will be disconnected from the internet for being caught downloading something copyrighted. Last week, European Parliament had a chance to vote whether they would like to see the same kind of law being implanted around Europe. The Three Strikes French plan was rejected with 481 votes in favor, 25 against, and 21 abstentions. Sucks to be living in France. The Guardian reports that J.K. Rowling, the great mind behind Harry Potter, is leading a fight against the free book site Scribd.com. What they sort of mention is that it is actually her publisher that is doing the battle and not J.K. Rowling herself. But Harry Potter is not the only thing that is being downloaded off Scribd. Best-selling science fiction author Christopher Priest is one of the authors that has asked Scribd to take his books off the website before. And what made the whole story amazing to me? was reading a quote from Mr. Priest himself. He said, quote, The music industry has been practically ruined by this. The film industry is fighting hard and it's got lots of money. The book industry is the poorest of the lot. We are vulnerable. End quote. Excuse me? The book industry is the poorest? Hey, how much is JK Rowling earning again? Yeah, one billion pounds. Interesting. Mini Nova is once again leading the torrent community by trying to bring the artists and labels to try and monetize on torrents. A Dutch record label, Beep Beep, announced a partnership deal with Mini Nova and will put their complete discography for free on a website, licensed under Creative Commons. In just a few clicks, publishers can now add their concert tickets, merchandise, and other products they want to sell while providing their content for free. According to Beep Beep, the reason they decided to put their music online is, quote, because it's only fair not to pay for something you haven't heard yet, end quote. Hulu.com has been attracting a lot of people to watch TV shows online legally. The service is now available only in the United States and is already one of the top visited websites. But even though Hulu has been doing great viewers-wise, it is not able to capitalize on them. Hulu is able to sell only 60% of its ad space to advertisers. The sad thing is, Hulu is probably the best way to view TV shows online legally, for free, and it might sadly become a victim to its own success. TV networks have already hinted that they might pull their TV shows from the website if they cannot get enough advertisers in. I guess, at the end of the day, torrents are still one of the most reliable ways for people to get their TV shows. Netflix has announced it will start charging more for Blu-ray rentals. Currently, if you wanted to rent a Blu-ray disc, you will pay $1 more than what everybody else does every month. But the price will go up to $9 for the heavy customers. But hey, wait, I have great advice for you. Have you ever wondered how to make a standard DVD look like it's on HD? Then you might want to try out these. Now, HD Vision takes sunglass vision technology to a whole new level. Just like high-definition TV is the ultimate in viewing clarity, HD Vision makes the world come alive in brilliant defined color like never before. Crystal clear images so rich and vivid you won't believe your eyes. Wow, these are fantastic. The clarity is just great. The colors are beautiful. So much more vibrant, more contrast. It's amazing. Wow, I can see why they call these high definition. Everything's so clear. I'm sure a lot of you are looking forward to the next X-Men movie. I am. Sadly for the movie industry, the movie has leaked onto the internet a month prior to its release and it has become a big hit on torrent websites. But before you go and rush and download it, there is something you need to know. This is only a work print, meaning that you will not get the same enjoyment out of it as if you were to watch the real thing when it comes out. I know I'll be waiting a little bit longer. Unfortunately, thank God, Stacy won't be joining us today. She caught a cold. But anyways, in the last episode, I asked you to write something nice about me. 
The comment that I like the most is actually a short poem written by Sam Rooney. Sam, I will send you a t-shirt and here's your poem. In how many words can I express to you the wonderful torrent news you do? They were wrong to chastise and surface feeling so blue. You'll recover. You're original and creative too. I hope I've lifted your spirits, renewed happy thoughts right on cue. Girl, I do do mean to flirt because Stacia, you owe me a t-shirt. If you want a t-shirt too, what you can do is send me an email to tv at tornfreak.com and suggest a story that I could talk about on the next episode. Hey, also, don't forget to subscribe to one of our feeds so you'll never miss our show. Until next time, I'll make sure I'm here and you make sure you don't get caught. Stacia, out.